Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and today we're gonna make banana bread. Because what do you do when you have bananas that look like this? When I see bananas that get this ripe, I think I had better make banana bread. We're gonna start with the bananas. I check them for bruises. I don't want any bruises. That's probably more than I need. So I'm gonna be using a mixer. You don't have to use a mixer. You can just use your elbow grease and a spoon and a bowl. But I like this. I'm kind of addicted to this. And now we're gonna start with one half cup of corn oil. It's vegetable shortening, corn oil, a half stick of butter. Don't use olive oil, it'll make it taste weird. I'm gonna put in this liquid first because it's gonna kind of grease our mixing bowl and make our mixing bowl easier to clean. Now we need half a cup of sugar. I buy them in the very big quantities because I like to cook really economically. So I buy in bulk, but I go through it. I'm gonna mix the sugar up with the oil first and get it going. So just blend it and now you add two eggs. And now the three quarter cups of mashed bananas. I'm gonna put it in a one cup measuring. I'm gonna push it down to see what's three quarter cups. If you get crazy like I have done and put extra bananas because you wanna use them up, you get a really big dent in your banana bread. So you're supposed to only have three quarters of a cup, so that's what I'm doing here. Now we do one teaspoon baking soda. So when I measure my baking soda, I just go like that, it's good enough. Don't stress out about the exact amounts. So the next ingredient is half a teaspoon salt. I use kosher salt. There we go, half a teaspoon and a pinch of cinnamon. So for a pinch, you can pinch it or you can use one eighth a teaspoon. Okay, next we have one and a quarter cups flour. This recipe, I figured it out. It's like 40 cents worth of ingredients. Can you believe that? So I just figure out, okay, that's about a quarter cup. We got a quarter cup there. When you're mixing, another tip is you just want to combine the ingredients. If you over mix anything with flour, it gets really glutinous and sticky. You want it light and fluffy. So about maybe 30 seconds to one minute. So let's get our pan. I put corn oil in it, just like I used in the recipe. I'm gonna grease it. So my trick is, you put it in the pan, you grab a paper towel. Sometimes I don't mind my hands getting messy, but you know what? It's just easier like this. Let's get our batter, put our batter in. This is going to rise and turn golden brown. We're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees. All right, in the oven it goes for 40 minutes. Timer for, oh, press. So let's check back in a little bit, see what it looks like. That banana bread should be ready. Yeah, it is perfect. Look at the golden color. Okay, let's try that banana bread with butter and honey. This is my favorite way. Mm, hot. <laughs> Delicious. Mm -hmm.